In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Superdrug's own brand range of vitamin E skincare. Welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. It's absolutely lovely to have you here. I was so looking forward to reviewing this range of products because I've used some of them before in the past and I love, love the scent um, that this range has. And also, actually, one of my Holy Grail cleansers is part of the range. So, yeah, I was really looking forward to trying out the range and I bought a big part of the range of the Superdrug's Vitamin E um, skincare. So I got a cleanser, I got an exfoliator, I got an eye makeup remover, I got a um, the micellar solution, I got the facial serum, I got the hydrating mist, I got the, the day cream that's got SPF and I'm just reaching over for the last one which is uh, nourishing night cream. I completely forgot as I was going through filming that that I was going to add in the Yucca, Y-U-K-A scores. So as we're going through the review, you'll see that they come up. This is an app which you can uh, scan products on and it kind of gives you a clean, a clean score, if you like, and it kind of highlights any um, nasty ingredients. So you'll you'll see that come up. If there isn't one, it's because it didn't go through on, this, on, the, uh, on the app. Okay, so... Let me dive straight into my review here because, um, as I said, I was really excited to try it out and I bought a really, I, what I thought was a really robust um, range to make a really good routine. Um, so I started off with the Hot Cloth Cleanser. So I'm just going to talk you through in the order that I would typically use these products. So I started off with a Hot Cloth Cleanser. I'm not quite sure why it has a box. Don't think it needs one. Oh, I know why. Oh my God, I haven't even taken it out. It's because it's got a muslin cloth in it. Okay. Sorry, haven't tried out the muslin cloth, but you know, um, they're much of a muchness these. Well, I don't know, I suppose that I have, do notice some differences. The biggest thing for me is the size. So that is a really good sized one. So happy with that. And actually, the, I said, this is a holy grail item for me. It's been in the past. It still is, thankfully, really, really love it. So basically you apply this to dry skin and, um, you just uh, squeeze out a little bit, I've got a clip here of me tying it, onto your hand, you rub it onto your face, and then you wash it off with um, the muslin cloth that is in warm water. And um, it's a really, it smells fantastic. The, the scent that's in here, I don't think it's a vitamin E scent per se, because the body shop have a vitamin E range and it smells completely different smells really nice mind but it smells completely different but um yeah i do love the scent of this range and this is very uh gentle on the skin yet you really do feel like you've cleansed your skin after using it so i really like this and i typically well i've been using this um day and in the morning and in the evening so in the morning just before i get into the shower put it on my face wash it off in the shower and in the evening i i've been using it to remove makeup although on the first day that I tried out the routine, I actually went in first with the gentle makeup remover. And um, it was really nice to use. And I thought, oh, wow, fantastic. It doesn't sting. This, by the way, does not irritate the eyes at all. Um, but then I took a look at the ingredients. And on the back, it's got cyclohexasiloxane, which is a cyclical silicone. I will talk more about those in a moment. So I'm going to put this to one side because I, I stopped using it. It's an ingredient, a cyclical silicone is an ingredient that I try to avoid putting anywhere near my body. Okay, I also have another cleanser, which was the Gentle Micellar Solution. Okay, so this is, you know, um, I think hopefully... Well, I don't know, hopefully, but you guys might have tried a micellar solution already. To me, it's fairly reminiscent of putting up a watered down washing up liquid solution on your face. Um, and in fact, when you shake it, you get all these bubbles. So it kind of doesn't dissuade me from that view at all. Um, this is fine for for the kind of 
majority of the face for removing uh, the makeup. You'll see me using it here. But on the eyes, oh my God, mother for loonies does this sting. So this is a no for me because um, I want a micellar solution that can remove eye makeup. That is a, a key thing for me. And I definitely have a, a comparison because in my uh, repertoire right now, I also have the Bioderma, the pink bottle micellar um, water. And that that is just like, it's like putting water on your eyes. It, it does not irritate them at all. So for me, unfortunately, this is an epic fail. But I don't think it contains the horrid ingredient. In fact, I hope it doesn't because I've been using it. As you can see, I've used up quite a lot. Okay, so three products reviewed so far. One still remains Holy Grail, one epic fail, and then one that I'm going to talk about a little bit later on because it's got a nasty ingredient. So I used it once, I didn't use it again. And I should have checked, but you know what? Uh, I buy a lot of stuff online and these websites are really hit and miss in terms of looking at ingredients. And also, I have to say to you, I actually thought that there was a ban on these silicones. Um, but we'll come into that in a little bit. Uh, I've got some, uh, I've got some things to say about that. Okay, another item that I um, have been using in the shower is this gentle oatmeal exfoliator, and this is um, normally I prefer to use acids as exfoliators, um, you know, an AHA or a BHA. But this is like your common or garden one that's got something in it. It is very, very gentle. It actually feels like it's got a bit of porridge in there, so it's got like oat. It has got oatmeal in there and it kind of feels that way and your bath kind of looks that way or shower kind of looks that way or sink after you've used it. I'm not a massive fan of this. It does leave the face feeling, the skin feeling nice and soft. But um, yeah, I don't like the mess and I do feel like you get more bang for your buck from, from an acid. Okay, what else have I got to tell you? Right, so... Then uh, I would say we have got this facial serum, moisture, Bo moisture Boost Facial Serum. I was so excited to use this. I used it once. It was delightful. Then I happened to look at the ingredients because I, I was like using them. And at the end, I thought, wow, all of these products, you know, all the kind of moisturizing products, they feel so lovely on. And that silicone, that those cyclical that family of cyclical silicones that's what they do that's their job they make it nice and smooth and that's why they used to be in so much skincare and then hair care and then there was a ban but it looks like that ban has kind of gone away a little bit anyway so i'm sure i would have really liked using this more but i only used it once i'm going to put it to one side okay so then i had the hydrating mist and actually i ended up having to use this um, morning and evening having to use it well i chose to use it this actually i really like this it is um it, it says it's got aloe vera in it so i think in the summer and it's very hot here right now and i haven't done this because i'm it's like too much of an effort but if you stored this in the fridge and then used it i think that would um be really really refreshing in fact i think they they call in the fridge for an extra refreshing sensation i really like the fact that the number two product another uh, number two ingredient in here is glycerin my skin adores glycerin it finds it very very um nourishing um the only thing is, though, it kind of wasn't enough in terms of if I compare the mist to a serum. So for my aged skin, I kind of needed a bit more. And um, in the mornings, I would follow this with um, this SPF 15 moisturising day cream. Um, and the... I'm not a massive fan of this. I know I've used it in the past, but you'll see that when you apply it, it kind of takes a lot of work to get it to sink into the skin. And then I don't have any footage of this, but as it's got hotter and hotter, that my face starts to sweat and it starts to run. It kind of get, I get kind of milky looking patches, which is not nice. The good thing is, I will say, when it runs, it doesn't seem to have a taste when it goes in my mouth, which is amazing because most of them do. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm not wowed by this. I wouldn't repurchase this, 
but um and also i have to say to you spf 15 honey it's not enough you got you got up your game superdrug put more spf in 15 is not enough even in the darkened skies of blighty okay we need more spf in our products because right now i'm putting sun sunscreen on top to get it to a higher sun protection factor but yeah that was all right and then the night cream was absolutely gorgeous and then i looked at the ingredients list and lo and behold okay so this one's got cyclopentax siloxane in it so of the products that i uh tried out so i've got three four five six seven eight three i couldn't use because i used once and then i realized there was the Gentle Eye Makeup Remover, the Moisture Boost Facial Serum, and the Nourishing Night Serum. So what's this? Superdrug, we need to talk. Why are you putting this ingredient back into your products? Because I know you removed them because you had to, and now you're putting them back in. Can someone tell me, please? Now, don't want to offend you, Superdrug, because I've been trying for a long time to get on your affiliate program. But... Um, Equally, I think, you know, you are a massive retailer in the UK. You can use other ingredients. The products will still work well. I don't know if it's a price point thing, but I I am mad about the cyclopentaxiloxane and the other variations. And, you know, if, you've, if you're a viewer of my channel of old, you'll know that I, this comes up every now and again. And I am all too frequently, I have to say, and I do get a little bit on my soapbox about it. Cyclopentaxiloxane. Try saying that five times fast. Basically, it's a cyclical silicone, and the cyclical bit is the cyclo. Um, and cyclical means it's volatile, so it means it's not just about your skin contact, it's about breathing it in. So this actually, therefore, I guess, means you could breathe it in from um, others. So it's not just your use, it's very dangerous, and it can impact the endocrine system. And the endocrine system is the one that controls all your hormones. Ergo, it can affect, it can impact your fertility. Why do I care so much about this particular ingredient? cyclopentaxiloxane well i don't want anything mucking with my hormones i've got enough hormonal issues as it is you know i don't want the pharmaceutical companies and the beauty product companies coming after me but this is a very dangerous ingredient it was restricted under use by the european union it looks like it's a kind of come back in again um the all these cyclical cyclical silicones i can from what i can gather they ha may have traces of one another in them it's difficult for them to isolate them um and yeah and i just don't want to use stuff that um can impact me but also other people so yeah cyclopentaxiloxane or any silicone with cyclo and zane at the end that's how i kind of look for it when i'm looking at ingredients so basically cyclopentaxiloxane is a cyclomethicone cyclomethicones are a group of methyl siloxanes a class of liquid silicones that possess the characteristics of low viscosity and high volatility as well as being skin emollients and in certain circumstances useful in cleaning solvents solvents sorry they are used in many cosmetic products including deodorants and antiperspirants which need to coat the skin but not to remain tacky afterward and this lovely lady on Mumsnet actually explained to me that there is an app called Yucca, Y-U-K-A, um, which if you scan the barcode of products, it, it tells you what ingredients are in there, any kind of ones that uh, cause any kind of red flags. And yeah, Bob's your uncle, put it on one with cyclopentaxiloxane and it flags up that red flag. So um, I definitely would recommend if you're interested in, in steering clear of suspicious ingredients in your uh, beauty products and your skincare, then uh, download the app. It's free. Y-U-K-A. Yucca. Cyclomethicones are ubiquitous, so omnipresent, because they are widely used in biomedical and cosmetic applications. And they can be found in high levels in American cities, which I imagine they can be found elsewhere in the world. The cyclomethicones D4 and D5 are bioaccumulative in some aquatic organisms, 
according to one report. This is all from Wikipedia, by the way. In the European Union, D4, D5 and D6 have been deemed hazardous as per the REACH regulation. Is cyclopentaxilic same cancerous? In an animal two-year inhalation study, so inhalation, a long-term regular exposure to high doses of cyclopentaxilicsane contributed to the increased risk of cancer. That is not to say, though, that topical products with D5 will cause cancer. And that's from I Read Labels For You. <laughs> Some great websites that I'm finding here. Why is cyclopentaxilicsane banned? This is abelius.net. What is the problem with these ingredients? Cyclotetrasiloxane, that's D4, is toxic to human reproduction and accumulates in the environment with unpredictable long-term effects. Cyclopentaxiloxane, that's D5, can also be harmful to the environment, need I say more. Actually, completely forgot to tell you that my skin did not like the combination of these products. I actually got a spot at the end of my nose. I've got a photo that I took. It did go away, but I reduced down how often I was using the micellar solution. And I think um, that might have been what was aggravating my skin. Not completely sure. Um, but yeah, so all in all, even if I had had a complete routine from this or a complete routine, I don't think uh, these products and my skin make a happy marriage. So thank you very much for joining me today. Let me know if you have tried out this range. Do you have any firm favourites from it? I mean, I'm definitely um, pleased that I've still got the Holy Grail cleanser there, the hot cloth cleanser. I'm really happy about that. But yeah, I, I'd love to know your, your thoughts on this. And um, make sure that if you haven't done so already, you connect with me on the different social media channels. M maybe you're on TikTok, you can connect with me in there or on Instagram or Facebook, wherever you are, you probably can find me. Um, also to let you know, I've got a mailing list um, where, and if you wanted a, a freebie, actually you get two freebies if you join my mailing list. So check out the details in the video description. And I I'd also make a special request that if you'd like today's video please hit the thumbs up please put in a comment please share this video please subscribe to my channel all these engagement measures that you can take really help me and my little channel grow because basically the algorithm thinks oh people are liking this video let's show it let's serve it up to more more people that are watching beauty product review videos so please do me that little favor if you enjoyed today's video Okay, and I think all that remains for me to say is, remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon.